Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with this play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we took care of finding Fomerus Hughes, who was hanging out here in the Saltwell Caverns, and then we uh, went back to uh, Carrasco, or whatever that name, so that guy's name was, Cavaro, something like that, uh, and found out that the reason why all this stuff was happening, well, except for the Hughes part, was that he lent his little light to uh, Edgar Iran, and, well... Edgar Aaron took that light and did all sorts of bullshit with it. So yeah, that's what was causing the uh, brownie, or not the brownie, the uh, Kurdok attacks and all that good stuff. And then we managed to convince him to give it up and, well, get out of our lives. And we got his mind, so that's pretty cool. So we're not expanding it, we're expanding it right now, or we finished expanding it, and it actually expanded out pretty good. I mean, look at all that. I didn't think it would be this large but it works so we're just going to finish exploring this last little bit of the mine and then we'll uh talk to the guy that wants to expand the office and then from there well apparently we might make money off of it i don't know i'm assuming that's what we we're doing here Ooh, curious of the hardy nice that's not too shabby right there if it had any more uh, gem slots that'd be nice Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, everything's pretty much uh, not ready to be destroyed anymore here. You know, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Noble's Longbow. These daggers. I'll keep those ones right there. Uh, the hammer. We got a much better hammer. Yeah, let's get rid of the uh, Disciples Longsword. I don't care about that, really. Uh, let's see. Any other accessories we can get rid of? Or armor? Let's see. Tempered Hood. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Disciple Sound. Little mana. We don't, we don't really care about I don't really care about it too much. Ooh, that's got a lot of uh, slots there. Actually, it'll probably end up pretty much the same as what I have on right now. If I just put, like, the same gems in there or whatever. So I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of these. And that. Okay, there we go. I should, that should be good enough right there. Let's see, there was... What was that? Oh, Shadow Prism. Okay. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. All right, let's see what we have over here real fast. You know, you guys can stop locking the door all the time here. I mean, it doesn't need to be always locked. At least, I don't think it does. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see what we got here. No shadow prisms, that's great. How you guys doing? Go save the world, hero. Your mind is in good hands until you can. I'm still wondering about how we actually get anything out of here, but well, we'll find out eventually. It might be it might be based on either um, in time or in game days or in time in game uh, hours played. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. Damn spiders. Eh. At least it's different from, at least it's different from the rats that we had. Uh hello. I got a nice little view out here, don't I? Nice. Yeah, I didn't realize my mind's opened up outside. That's pretty cool. I like it, I like it. Let's uh, see, there's a trap around here somewhere. Yeah, like right behind me, I guess. Uh, hello. You know what? It's for you guys. Oh, don't, don't fate leave against the rats. Kill the rats, but no need to fate leave against them, that's for sure. And wow, I didn't think we'd actually be this close to the level up. Let's see here. There we go. Ah, freaking shadow prisms. 
Oh well. Come on, hit me. Gotcha. This is a rather long passageway out here. He really did a lot of work for a really cheap amount. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah, for only about 10,000 gold, he did a very impressive job. I like it. I would hire this guy again, that's for sure. I, I did not expect to get the mine at the end of the uh, little quest there. That, that, was, that came as a nice little shock. In a good way, though. A really good way, actually. Uh, what was up there that I missed? Besides everything, apparently. Okay, I should I should have plenty of room for those damn master precisions. There. Happy. Now, I didn't even see how much I got there, but it was a fair amount, that's for sure. Now, where is... Oh, it's on the other side of the frickin' map. Okay. Let's... I was gonna say, make our way through here as quickly as possible, but all these boxes are in the way. Hexweave hand wraps. Okay, I'll take it. Speaking of which, shadow prisms, consumables, items. Where are you, damn freaking shadow prisms? Three gold. Yay! At least I got something out of it. Now, let's get out of here and expand our uh, offices, I guess. Yeah, if I had realized it was going to take this long to do all this, I would have just freaking did it all this episode instead of last episode. Oh, well. But our mines are fully expanded. Hopefully, we make a nice little uh, profit off of it. Probably something like five or ten thousand gold every couple of hours or something, I'd guess. So not a lot, but enough. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to the other guy. We've pushed this mine as far as it'll go. It's been sound doing business with you. Now all you have to do is relax, sit back, and collect your money. As soon as I figure out where from, I will. How you doing, sir? Welcome. The Motus Miners have told me all about you. I'm Vincent Helper, Edgar Aaron's former assistant and facilities manager. I'll continue to run the mining office for you, if you'll allow it. Come and go as you please. The building is yours to use. And if it doesn't suit your tastes, with some spare coin, I can arrange for renovations. Well, let's get to it. Uh, let's see. Collect my money. How much do I got? Here you go. This is the profit we've managed to make since you were away. Wow. 5,000... <coughs> 4,500 gold already. That's really nice. Alright, so let's talk to you real fast. I locked myself in here while Edgar was hatching his schemes. I knew it would come to violence at some point. He was hell-bent on getting even with Motus. Anyhow, what's past is past. You need a manager for this building while you're away. And I'll do it for a small fraction of what you earn. Speak to me if you want work done on this building. Or if you'd like to collect a profit. Beastly creatures stalk near those caverns. They're not fey, and they're definitely not natural. 
You could pay me enough to get close to there. I wish it were somewhere far from here. The Hololands are dangerous enough without them. The Motus miners feel indebted to you. They offer to work your mine, for a flavor of your overall profit, of course. Yet another place of mystery that I'd rather be much farther away from. The Hololands are death trap enough as it is. Okay, so you don't like pretty much anything about the Hololands except for the very small money opportunities. Okay, let's upgrade our office though. If you have enough gold, I can clean this place up and furnish it with goods from across the land. Let's see, two thousand ish gold. I'll get right to work. I'll look brand new before you know it. Hey hey, it's all fixed up. Nice. Ah, uh, and there's our uh Sagecraft altar. I thought it would be pretty cool, and I was hoping, uh, that if it would turn into like a, uh, a little inn or something, and we could like, uh, get customers here, and they'd be like, oh, we spent the night or something. Here's some fate history if you guys want to read this. Enormous book. Yeah, so I'll let you guys read this. Yeah, it would have been cool if it like turned into like a little hotel, and you got extra profit from that too. But, oh well. It is an office, not an inn. This is a very long book. But again, they mentioned that at the very beginning. Well, that was certainly long enough. Uh, hello. Uh, let's see. Peasants. No. Nah. And it's not even stealing, so that's awesome. Now, I wonder what... to nice little bed for us. I like it. Okay, there's our stash. It moved a little higher than I would have liked, but... Oh, well. Actually, was it up there already? I thought it was down to the ground. Okay, so we got that. I'm assuming the next upgrade is going to add uh, the alchemy and then the final upgrade might add like uh, blacksmithing. But let's find out. All right, I doubt we made any money in that two minutes, but let's find out real fast. Yeah, he was a bastard. Okay. Gotcha. With a bit more gold, we can improve the facilities even more. Oh, there you go. Time to get to work. Oh, you'll love it. Two out of three. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Oh, he did add a blacksmith forge. Nice. I like it. I like it. And now he's going to add the uh, alchemy altar. Okay, cool. Uh, did he add anything else? Let me, let's see. This is a really nice house. Or office, I guess. Got plenty of room for guests. How 
goes the splodging. I've got things pristine here at home. For a tad bit more gold, I can add on another room for more storage space and furnishings that'll make an emperor drool. Go for it. Hey, that's actually cheaper than what we uh, paid for the last one. Nice. It's a little bit of a walk from uh, the mining area, but you know what? I'll live. Okay, there's some plants for us. Great. Or a plant for us. Nice bookshelves. It really does look very nice in here. I like it. Now, this is a nice little house. I like it. Let's see here. Now, where did you put... Why do I got a lockpick in my own house? Okay. So, where did you put my alchemy altar? Is this a crafting altar? Uh... Library, drill, bed, chest. So I just added that little bookshelf for no real reason, huh? Or that little side room. I was hoping for the alchemy altar, but can't have everything, I guess. Unless it's in here. No, that's already where we were. Okay. So, all right, fellow, where's my alchemy? Oh, I got a level. Okay, awesome. I'll take care of that in just a minute. You've expanded the facilities as much as we can. I'm what? Truly a marvel of modern architecture. If I do, take care, my friend. What happened to my uh? They didn't give me an alchemy thingy. Oh well. Oh, where's the, uh... Yeah. I am, I am mildly irritated there's no alchemy, but oh well. Now, I want to try something here. I want to see if it's based on fast travel or time played. So if we travel all the way over to Stone Candle Mines, that'll be a pretty far distance to travel. And let's travel someplace else again that's also far. Let's see, Rithin. And then let's go ahead and travel travel back. And that might be what we need to start collecting our money. Or it might just be based on time and game. I hope it's on the uh, fast travel though, because that'd make life easy. So you could really make money that way. Okay. Looks like it is based off of a time plate then. Okay, so let's level up. Uh, let's see. Sagecraft is already maxed out. We don't need stealth. Persuasion. Yeah, we got pretty good persuasion at the moment. Mercantile. We could go for extra cell costs. Uh, I like the uh, recover 30% instead of 15%. So that's pretty nice. Lock picking. Yeah, we're pretty good. Dispelling. Yeah, we don't need any more of that. Alchemy. Nah, let's just go for versatile. There we go. And then that's good. And now let's see. We can start putting the extra points here. Um, oh, you are upgraded. Okay. I thought you had more points to put in there. Uh, let's see here. Try to decide if I want to go for the... Uh, the true mastery stuff yet, or just wait till later. See, I could put more more money into the or not right, money, more points into the uh, extra great swords and stuff like that, and they'll be they'd be even more powerful. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put one point each into Gust of Force, Great Sword Mastery, and Hammer Mastery there. There we go. We're still Conquerors. Awesome. And let's check out our new improvements here. Plus 35 damage with Great Swords. Awesome. 40% damage with Long Sword. 35% damage with Hammer. So yeah, we're doing good. And 80% damage against Stunned Enemies, which is really nice. So there we go. 
I am I am mildly irritated that we don't have the alchemy thing in here, but oh well, we got other stuff, so I'll live. Unless they hid the alchemy thing like really well, which is always possible. Stash, blacksmith, mirror, armoire. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're done in here then. Um, that took way longer than I thought it would. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a very short episode then at 20 minutes here. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and move out of uh, the Hololands and over to Metatier. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.